primary advice, and I say it every single year to every student who ever asks, figure out what it is you want to do that makes your heart sing. Go after it with a gusto and never, ever slow down. Okay, my, my general piece of advice is, is to not be in a hurry. That process of understanding who you are and how you fit into the world and what role you have to play is not something that you can figure out in four years and then get on with things. It's a lifelong process. Well, I would say be happy. That would be my first advice. That's the most important. I would say because I teach uh, languages, one of the things I would want them to do is to defend that diversity. I think that is one of the things that they learned uh, here with, with us in French and with people in languages and cultures, that there are different kinds of people. I think that's important for them to actually come out of this uh, university with the thought that okay, this is going to be a world in which there's more justice and more recognition for differences of all kinds. And I think that that would be, the, for me, the, the most important thing they could bring with them. Well, first, I guess my advice would be to savor the moment of your achievement, right? And don't uh, uh, forget to celebrate what you have worked so hard for for four years, right? It's a great achievement. Um, do a little bit of uh, exploring over the next few years. You know, young adulthood, right, is the perfect time uh, 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 to experience the world and see the kind of fresh insights uh, that you can get. Advice for art students in 2009, I would say continue to learn. The journey has just begun. You've got a great education to start with and there's a whole life ahead and just continue to learn. When you leave here, you'll discover that the Waterloo name actually goes with you everywhere. And that if you use the Waterloo name, I am a University of Waterloo grad, you go to the top of the pile. So in one sense, don't ever be shy. You know, you are a University of Waterloo graduate. Be proud. Uh, declare it really strongly. It'll take you places. Be, begin by being very proud of, of who you are and what you are. Uh, you have uh, done what is necessary to get admitted to the University of Waterloo, and you've done what is necessary to leave the place with distinction. Take great joy in your life. Learn to take joy from, from each day, and that probably means finding yourself in a line of work that you really enjoy, uh, that you have a sense of fulfillment from. Find that joy, and that joy uh, will very often come from improving the community around. We've Hopefully, if we've all done our jobs, including the student, then when you leave University of Waterloo, you leave with a set of tools that you can use to help you to understand your place in the world. There are a couple of things about a liberal arts degree that do for students. Aside from, I think we teach people how to think, not what to think. They have such a, a variety of topics and, and subjects and perspectives and lenses that they are bringing with them and hopefully they use that in the world. The words of inspiration I would give you are really simple. Change the world. Believe you can change the world, figure out how to change the world, and dedicate your life to changing the world. Happy people are the ones that have the biggest effect on the people around them. And if you graduate from here with the goal of becoming wealthy, um, maybe you'll be happy, maybe you'll be content. If you want true joy, you'll figure out what it is you can do personally to change the world in the direction you want to take it. You'll devote your life to that, and you will do absolutely great. Pour mes étudiants, je dirais, euh, et pour les étudiants qui parlent français, il y en a beaucoup euh, sur le campus de l'université, euh, je dirais que ce qu'il faut conserver, c'est la capacité de parler français, euh, l'utiliser, donc ne pas faire euh, du français passif, mais aussi que le français et l'espagnol et l'allemand, l'arabe font partie de la richesse culturelle euh, du monde et que chaque individu est responsable de garder cette richesse-là. Merci. 
my best advice I could give you is to believe in yourself. Believe in the skills that we've taught you here at the University of Waterloo. Not necessarily the concrete, nitty-gritty content of the courses that we've taught you, but the broader skills that we've tried to give you in those courses. When you walk across that stage in June, you'll have a much better understanding of the complexities of the worlds in which we, in which we live and a much better idea of how to cope with those complexities. So what I'd urge you to do is think about how you want to make a difference, be it local, global, be it small or large, and then do it and use those skills that we've taught you in order to succeed. I guess my final inspirational words would be this. Um, you'll hear a lot about the, the global economic uncertainty and you shouldn't be afraid about this and it shouldn't deflect you from your own goals and your own vision. Look, I graduated my first degree in a recession as well and I had very little problems uh, getting on the path that I wanted to be on, right? So work hard, get clear about who you are and the sorts of things that you want to pursue and pursue them and don't give them up because of what other people say, right? You only get one life, it's your life and not anyone else's. So stay true to your vision, work hard, be happy, be a good person, and I wish you all the success. UW has motivated me to shape my career. My profs have inspired me to do UW has opened the doors to achievement.